Hey everyone, this is Jay with the Garcia Real Estate Group sharing with you the process of buying a home. Step 1. Interview an agent. Most good agents will have a buyer consultation. After that consultation, ask yourself, did you connect with the agent? Do they have any reviews from past clients? What's their experience? Local market knowledge. Are they a full-time or a part-time agent? Step 2. Getting a loan approval. The most common question I get from first-time home buyers are how much do they qualify for? What's the monthly payment and how much I need to put down? Sitting down with your local loan broker and running the numbers really lets you see how, many, how much cash flows you need to put in. Step 3. Home search. We have your real estate agent, have your loan broker, we know your budget, and we know the monthly payments you're comfortable with. Next step would be to deep dive and find out what kind of home fits your needs. Do you want to be on an ocean view? Do you want to live in the city? Do you want to be in a two-story, maybe a ranch-type home, or a big backyard where your dogs can play? Step four, showing. This is the most exciting part of the home buying process. We'll start going to open houses, a look at multiple homes that really caught your attention. Step 5. Making an offer. Once you tell me you would like to put an offer in a property, I will then ask you for a bank statement. Then I will look at the comps and disclosures on the property, chat with the listing agent, and sit down with you to make a strong competitive offer. Congratulations! You got in contract. Step 6 would be getting into escrow. Now you're going to have to wire your earnest money deposit, usually 3% of the purchase price here in the Bay Area, and then we start our due diligence period. Step 7, inspection. Your real estate agent will then order home, pest, and roof inspection for the property. If any major problem arises, you can always renegotiate the price, talk to the seller to have them fix the problem, or if you can't come to terms since you have that inspection contingency, you can then just cancel the escrow. Step 8, appraisal. Your lender will then order an appraisal report to see the value of the properties there. If the value and the purchase price are the same, then that's good news. If the value is higher than the purchase price, then that's great news to discuss an equity on your property. If it's lower than the purchase price, then as long as you have a appraisal contingency, you can then renegotiate the price with the seller. Step 9, financing. You'll get a clear to close from your lender, then you can remove your loan contingency, also updates and fixes for the property, and everything has been done. Step 10, close of escrow. Congratulations, you just closed on your property. You pick up the keys, take some pictures, pop some bottles, and make more memories with your family.